do week three together. Yes! <laughs> Today we're gonna do glutes and core. I'm so excited to have you here for another week together training. Yes! <laughs> so today we're gonna need a mat, chest, a, a dumbbell and a resistant band. You okay? <laughs> I think he's not ready today. Uh, so we're gonna go straight into the workout. We're gonna start from the glutes activation with the resistant band. So it's up to you what kind of we have. We can have a, a quite a big one. You remember it goes above the knees. If you have a little, little one, have a smaller one, it goes lower, okay? It's just easier to hold it like this, okay? So I'm gonna start from activation as a warm up, going to the main part and the core after, okay? I hope you're ready and we can start. Remember, take the rest whenever you feel like. If it's too heavy for you, uh, just uh, take rest, keep breathing, and let's get it done. Uh, the glutes, I think, is the easiest uh, workout of the week. I hope so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can just uh, get all over the workouts, okay? We're gonna start from the simple kickbacks, standing ones. Okay, so we're gonna put the, the bands above and we can hold ourselves somewhere to the wall and we're gonna kick both sides, okay? Here again, the back is straight as always, core is tight and we're gonna get on, <laughs> okay? Okay, so 10, 10, both sides, okay? Let's go, let's go. And 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's change sides. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Yes, we done 10. <laughs> okay. We'll be in the same position now, but we're gonna go to the sides. Now we're kicking to the back. Now we're gonna do to the side, okay? So we're gonna do a bit of side abduction here as well. We'll feel on our glutes. Again, we can hold into the wall. Yes, yes. And then we're just gonna go to the sides, okay? One side, another side. You're gonna come to me. <laughs> okay. 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 No? No. I wanna go out. Okay, give me a moment. Okay? That's a security out. <laughs> okay. We do one side, another side. 10 10, okay? Let's go. And 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Let's change sides. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Amazing, we can feel our sides already. Remember, we done before on elbows, then we were doing to the sides. Now we're doing standing ups. So we're changing up, but it still works the same parts. Okay, we're gonna go onto the mat. Go onto the mat. Remember, if you have a little resistant band, it goes lower, uh, below the knees. It's Easier to hold when you do it, okay? We're gonna do 10 10. We're gonna do the kickbacks. The kickbacks, we hold ourselves on elbows, okay? Backs is straight, core is tight, and we get on, okay? We go on to elbow, okay? We see the band, and we kick back. Ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's change sides. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
this is our warm up. When we activate the glutes, we make them more awake and we're gonna get onto the main exercises, okay? Okay, let's go on to the side. We lay down on the side. Okay, resistant band can go a bit up now. This time we're gonna raise our legs, okay? We work the glutes and inner thighs here. So 10, 10 each side, okay? You ready? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. Let's change sides. Change sides, our fingers, toes are together, and we just raise it. Easy as that, okay? Okay, let's go. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one perfect now we can rest a little bit we'll need um, the band a bit later we we'll put it away we can rest a bit so that was a good warm-up for us right <laughs> we feel our glutes already okay we can take one dumbbell we're gonna do again 10 10 each side here it's gonna be super set so two exercises okay we're gonna squat to the side and then we're gonna lunge back squat to the side and we lunge back okay so we're gonna do 10 10 and we're gonna rest here it's up to you you can do the body weight also if you want okay Okay, if you want a bit harder, do with the weight. Okay, let's go. Take the weight in front of us. So side, back, side, back. Okay, ready? Let's go, making sure I've got enough space. <laughs> okay, and 10. Lunge back. Nine. Keep going. Six. Five. Four. It's a challenge for us. <laughs> okay. Two. Lunge back. And one. Let's catch the breath and we're switching sides, okay? Let's go and 10, lunge back, 9, 8, 7, 6, Is it getting hot? I know. Let's keep going. Three. Two. And the last one. Perfect. Woo. That was a tough one. Okay, let's walk out. And we do here the side squat and the, the lunge. After the activation, we already feel the glutes a bit more involved into the workout. Yes, we do feel the squat as well. 
the glutes, the inner tights, all our lower body is working. And you feel the tension also on the shoulders when we hold. Okay, we'll do the same one, one more time. Okay, are you ready? I thought I lost my music. Okay, the music usually don't listen to me. <laughs> okay, okay, you ready? Let's go. Ten. Lines back. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Keep going. Few more left. Two, one, perfect. Let's keep, keep changing sides. Okay, let's go. And ten, lunge back. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, three, keep going, two, and the last one. Perfect. Great. Catch the breath, need the water. It's getting hotter, I know. I feel much, much hotter now. Okay. We'll get into single leg deadlift. Okay. Here, we're gonna hold the weight down. It will be a challenge. You can hold your leg either bent or full extended because we're gonna go down. Remember when we used to do like this? This time we're gonna have either like fully extended or it can be a bit bent as long as it's off the floor when we go down. Slowly controlled movement is for the stability as well. But when we go down, we feel the hamstring, we feel it here and our legs might be a bit shaky, okay? So do as many as you can. We're gonna do 10 times each side, okay? But make sure that you're standing in a controlled way so you're not being like wobbly to the sides. If it happens, it means it's too heavy. Drop the weight, do just the body weight, okay? It still feels a lot, okay? So as long as the leg is away from the floor, then we go down, you can be fully extended, you can be a bit bent, okay? Here, the back is straight as always, okay? Let's go, ladies, let's go. And 10, up, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three. Those hamstrings are on fire. And one. Okay, let's change sides. I know it's difficult and it's a bit painful here. It's a little muscle working. Okay, let's go on to the other side, okay? Might be harder, our body is usually disbalanced. Other side, one side is stronger than another one. Okay, so let's try, 10 times. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I find it harder on my left. Four, three, two, and the last one. One. Wow, that was.
was hard. That was hard. It's I think harder to focus on how stability when we bend than rather feeling the muscle because the muscle extends. We feel it definitely. But to hold the balance, it's harder. So if it's too hard with the weight, just go down with your leg. Okay? You still gonna feel the muscle extending. Okay? We're gonna do it one more time. Okay? Let's go. Okay? Ten times. Let's go. And ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Let's change sides. Okay. I can feel the leg shaking already. Okay, let's go. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Slowly going down. Four.
Okay? Okay? Legs up in triangle and we lift the booty. Okay? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Five more times. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Can go up. Feels small movements. Very tiny ones. But we feel how it works, okay? We're gonna do the same one on a chair. We'll take the chair closer to us and we try to find a position where we can hold ourselves. We'll do another 15 here. So we lay down on a chair. Depends what kind of you got. Okay? And we're gonna try to lift ourselves. Okay, this side is not holding me. So I can go from the side here. So you have to see which side is better for you? I'm gonna take the pillow. Okay? So you have to make sure that it's easy to hold it. And we go up. Same position. And we lift the booty. And we lower it, okay? We try to hug the chair here. Okay? 15 times. I know it's pretty hot, right? Okay. You can hug the chair. And we go up 50 times. Lower it up. Okay. Keep going. Five more. Okay, and one more. Perfect. Okay. You can put the chair in different position. We're gonna go into the hip thrust. Now we definitely feel the glutes. Okay? Here as always, remember, for the hip thrust, you can have again pillow. So we put a weight on so it doesn't hurt on on your tight here okay so it's up to you what kind of weight you've got if it's too hard and heavy have it on okay perfect okay so we're gonna go in our regular hip thrust remember how to do 15 easy ones we're gonna hold it on our tights here our upper back is on a chair with a straight line and we just lower up. We always looking straight so our core is tight here, okay? Are you ready there? Let's go. 15 times. We will count 10 in 5, okay? Let's go. 10 up. 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we can relax. We'll go on to the second part. Remember, 15 feet, go up and down. We're gonna hold for 15 seconds and we're gonna do another 15. Okay? And after that, we've got a sumo hip thrust. We're gonna hold ourselves in a sumo position when the legs are wider. And we're gonna go again into the hip thrust. Okay? I hope you're ready. I'm trying to get ready as well. Okay. Let's go again onto the chair. We go down. Okay, 
our upper back is on a chair. We find a position for us. If you feel the hamstrings more, your legs need to be closer to you. Okay, we work here the glutes. Okay, let's go. And 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2 1 Perfect. We hold here. Few more seconds. And we go down. 10 9 8 7 
you're gonna do five five each side very slowly so you extend the leg take back lift yourself from the core and you go back okay let's try leg extended and we crunch five times in five lift extend four three two one perfect let's change sides we extend the left leg and we crunch five up extend four three two last one one perfect here our glutes are a bit involved as well when we take the leg away mostly it's a core stability okay we have here we're going into the plank and we're gonna try to touch the toes changing sides okay if it's too difficult hold yourself in a high plank and we're gonna do it 10 times ready let's go 10 come back change sides eight seven one is tight back is straight four three two one perfect very good we're going on to our side here we're gonna hold ourselves in a side plan and we're gonna go down 10 times each side okay you ready my heart is going so hard it's quite intense and short workout today okay so we go up onto the side and we go down okay if you want easier you can lift yourself from the elbow okay it will be easier to hold it so see how you feel the best okay if it's too hard just hold don't go low okay okay let's go 10 times and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 perfect let's change sides okay and we go up hand to the side and we go down 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 perfect can extend and we go down try to touch the toes we stretch the back okay come back so we take one leg closer to the body we're gonna stretch a little bit of our quad, uh, glutes and quads a bit other leg goes on top take the elbow from the side and we push we feel the glutes stretching in our back as well keep breathing you can slowly feel how our heartbeat is going down okay let's change sides take another leg put it up elbow from the side push it away keep breathing okay this 
extend a bit further away and we're gonna try to lower ourselves to the sides okay so we go to one side we feel our back stretching hamstrings tight Okay, we take our left arm up and we bend. So here we feel the side stretching the same. Okay, come back and we change sides. First we go front. Now we extend the arm and we go to the side. Okay, perfect. We're gonna go on to the plank, in the plank. Downward looking dog. And we lunge to the front. We lunge here, arms to the sides, left arm is on the floor, and right goes up. Let's stretch those hips. We only stretch them four times per week. And we sit seven days per week. Our hips need a stretch. Okay, come back to the front, lower the leg, go up and take the left leg closer to the body. Okay? And we hold here. Okay, let's change sides. Again, we go into downward looking dog. Let's hold for a moment. Okay, and we lunge to the front. Our right hand this time is on the floor. Left goes up. We stretch another hip. Okay, come back. Lower the right knee. And let's pull closer to the body here again. As much as we can. Okay, with every stretch, every day, it gets, it gets easier. So don't worry if you cannot do as much now. It's no problem, really. You have to keep going, keep trying, and it's going to get better and better. Okay? Perfect. You can sit down for a moment until your breath comes back to normal and you're ready to get on with the rest of your day. So we trained a bit of glutes and core today. If you want more stretching, you can always look into the other uh, 15 minutes stretching routine also in the group and try it out as well. So I'm looking forward to chat with you to see how you're going and I'll see you later in another workout. Okay, see you later.